Welcome back. It's time to escape to the action at Seminole Casino Immokalee. It is Vegas style 24 7, because just like Vegas, Seminole Casino never closes. It is pure entertainment anytime you want, and it is truly where paradise wins. All right, so just like people, no two dog breeds are alike. In fact, in the canine world, pure breeds are incredibly unique from each other, not only in their physical traits and general behaviors, but also when it comes to specific health needs. Here to help celebrate the differences in ways you discover ways to care for some of these specific breeds is pet expert and certified dog and cat behaviorist, Steve Dale. Steve, good morning. Well, thank you very much. It's, it's an honor to be here. Well, and also, uh, please introduce your furry friend there. I believe over uh, to the side we've got Ezra, it right? It is. Not so little friend. Ezra, of course, is a Labrador retriever. Labradors are now the most common breed. In fact, they have been since 1999. They've been king of all dogs. Second most common breed is the German Shepherd, followed by the Golden Retriever, the Beagle, and then the English Bulldog. Okay, Steve, now where are Border Collies on that list? Because I've got a couple of them that... <laughs> <laughs> border Collies are a great dog to talk about because you talk about high energy needs. You talk about a dog that is absolutely brilliant. In fact, I do a radio show in Chicago, and two weeks ago, a Border Collie filled in for me on the show. That's how smart they are. <laughs> you know what? I believe that completely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're brilliant. Well, Steve, start us off by maybe helping us delve into some little-known facts about some of the most popular breeds uh, that you just mentioned, uh, even like so the Border So, I'll talk about the Labrador Retriever, since I happen to have Ezra right here. Ezra's a Labrador Retriever. Labs were, and this is really important in understanding what our dogs are today, what they were originally bred to do. And you'll think about it, and we could talk about the Border Collie, too, originally bred, and they still do work as working dogs that have to think on their own. So, here we have a dog the Labrador Retriever that was originally a fisherman's friend. They assisted fishermen in Canada where, where they were originally bred and later and today even are used as a, a, a hunting dog to help retrieve waterfowl. They're still used for that purpose today. And that purpose uh, means that the dog has to be there all day with the, the hunter, right? And pay attention to what that hunter is doing. Takes great focus, also a lot of energy. You're retrieving waterfowl all day, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth, right? So that takes a lot of energy. These dogs are more high energy than people would think. But that focus is used today for Labradors that are amazing. They're used in animal-assisted therapy work. They're used as guide dogs to help people that are visually impaired. They're used as assistance dogs. They're used with our military. And as I said, they're the most popular dog in America, a very adaptable dog breed. But I'll tell you, we need to feed, I think, our breed specifically for what they are if we have an opportunity to do that. And we do with a number of breeds from Royal Canaan. So here's a dog that has high energy needs, a dog that scarfs up the food also. And we want to slow down that eating. So Ezra, I wonder if you're going to be interested in this. Ezra's been eating all day, actually. Uh, here, let me do it this way. This is better. Yes, if we could eat the kibble out of his hand, it's better. Uh, this kibble is shaped specifically for this breed of dog. It has a shape that slows down that eating. And I'll tell you, that's really important because these dogs tend to be... Have you had enough before we went on camera? These dogs tend to be really overweight. They, re they really do. And that isn't good for the dog, obviously. Uh, it can impact their quality of life. It can impact their lifespan as well. And also, digestibility is important. So if you scarf down your food, it's tough to digest. If you eat it a bit slower, easier to digest. Also, they have this very famous waterproof coat. Well, let's support that coat. And we can do that by using this food. Pretty cool. And I mean, just hearing what you mentioned about them, I think it's pretty, pretty telling when you compare the different breeds and you can see so many different personality traits throughout the different dogs. It's, it really is incredible. Yeah, that's right. So I'll talk about Border Collies, you know. There's an intense dog because that's, they were bred to be very focused on those sheep. That is what they do. They, they make the difference between life and death for some of those sheep, right? Uh, by herding them in just the right direction. And today, Border Collies are still working dogs. And they're still very intense dogs. They're still very focused dogs. And if you don't have sheep to herd, use a Frisbee disc. Use something. Use something. I'm a fan of giving the dogs something to do that resembles what these dogs were originally bred to do. For, so for these guys, 
it's exhausting doing these interviews all day. Uh, for these guys, for these guys, it could be a tennis ball, you know, that you're tossing back and forth and back and forth. Well, and I was just going to say that, especially around a border collie, you put anything around them. If they don't have sheep, maybe they'll hurt a cat. They'll even hurt a couch if you want them to. They're just at work all the time. Well, they are. Life, I mean, they're workaholics. <laughs> they are the workaholics of the dog world, right? So giving them a job, whether it's going out to get the morning newspaper, makes them happy actually giving them jobs to do so i'm all for that i want to get a border collie to wash our windows <laughs> hey i'm right there with you and i think i think i know where we could find a couple but what is it that you really want people to know here about the different dog breeds and, and well i want healthy? them to know that yes a dog is a dog is a dog having said that all dogs are individuals and have their moods and personalities depending on also what's very important is the way a dog was socialized when that particular dog was young but if we could feed for what that breed is, there are certain things, certain traits that all dogs of a certain breed, whether it be Border Collies or Labrador Retrievers, have in common. So if we could feed them for that breed, better off for the dog. And you can learn more at RoyalCanin.us. Perfect. Steve, thank you so much for being on the show. And bye, Ezra. Bye. <laughs> We're going to have. Ezra, you did good. <laughs> We're yes. going to have more on this segment on our website. Go to Fox4MorningBlend.com. And up next, look as young as you feel, how you can peel off years from your face with Naples Laser and Med Spa.